Hello, Jerry. Hi, Elaine. What is the matter, George? You seem lost in thought. Nothing really, Kramer. Out with it, George. You're not Hercule Poirot, about to reveal the name of the murderer. There's no need for suspense. I'm sure whatever you're brooding on is as pathetic as you yourself happen to be. Well, if you must know, it's my aunt. She's not dead, is she? If that is so, I'm sorry. No, she hasn't kicked the bucket. She's a young woman. It's just that two years ago, she gave me something, a present. She mentioned it was the small gift. I fail to see the problem. Well, Kramer, the mention of the small gift suggests, does it not, the potential arrival of a big gift. It still hasn't appeared. Now I get it. So do I. She raises your hopes by calling it the small gift. You assume, as any person would, a bigger one is to follow. It doesn't. In sorrow, you wallow. I think we have got it just now. The point to remember here is, she said it is the small gift. If she had said it is a small gift, there would be no expectation involved. The uttering of the word the clearly means what we think it means. What if your aunt is a bit careless with grammar? What if she did mean a uh, but said the? I've heard blokes say I had went instead of I had gone. People these days are throwing around words willy-nilly, without any great respect for grammar and all that. Not everybody, of course, but quite a few folks are of the opinion that as long as the idea has been communicated, it's all right. Perhaps your aunt falls under this category. Hence, she used the word the when she meant er. Uh. That is the only thing I can think of. That might have happened. Jerry may be right. What if he isn't? Am I getting a bigger gift? Am I to wait endlessly for it to arrive? I don't really know.